When I think of Bangkok, I think of it as a night city. And so this evening's agenda, we're going to be getting some night photography, or at least attempting it. Tonight is actually the last night in our hotel over in the east of the city. Uh, and we've extended our trip in Bangkok and we're going to be staying over towards like Chinatown, down in the west. And uh, yeah, we're going to explore this area in nighttime, potentially um, do some more night photography over in Chinatown. I think I have a very different vibe. This is a, a much newer area of Bangkok. Blue Hour always feels really pivotal in Bangkok because it seems like all the headlights and everything come on a little bit earlier than they should do. And it's really interesting because it's bright enough for like good scenes, but then there are lights that kind of glow through. I put the bloom filter on this evening, so it should be blooming nicely. Uh, and I'm also testing a stereo microphone. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's all right. Chitlam and we're gonna head in the sort of vicinity of the station and then make our way uh, eastwards through uh, Planchit and Nana and that sort of area. I think these are very centralized parts of Bangkok um, but like I said we want to explore this area because we're kind of staying nearby um, and then we'll try some other areas uh, later for some more nighttime stuff. Uh, but already the lighting's great, I'm loving this transition, uh, the blue hour of Bangkok is brilliant. So it's kind of interesting. I've had this new bag and I've been testing it this week and I've actually been really enjoying it. Although it looks like I'm carrying a heavy bag all the time, I actually love it once I've got my cameras out because that makes it so much lighter. The bag itself is then just an empty shell and uh, I'm just carrying the cameras and the waist is sort of distributed. It's when it comes to the end of the day that everything goes back into the bag, that's when it's like, oh, it really gets to you. I may do an updated what's in my camera bag at some point, um, because everything has changed since I last did one of those, which I think was 2019. Anyway, so this evening I'm on my X-T4, 35mm and we got F2 and I'm probably going to spend most of the evening at F2 um, just to catch those sort of lights and things. So I'll find areas of interest, focus on that, keep that as a priority and then uh, we get some nice definition, separation and brightness, hopefully. Finding places to shoot is, uh, is difficult at the best of times. It's even harder at night time. Um, and also, I believe one of the best ways to see a city and to truly explore and to get your best images is to explore it by foot and walk around. And so that does leave you just kind of going down roads and alleyways. And sometimes it's a bit hit and miss. Sometimes you get absolute winners. Other times you get areas that are just dark and nothing. 
Um, at night time, of course, we kind of need to follow and chase the light and just find anything that's sort of like really standing out. Uh, so it's difficult, kind of struggling in some areas. We found some streets and I got some, uh, some nice images of shop fronts, I think. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep trucking along and uh, exploring. It's all part of the fun of it. Um, yeah, but definitely, definitely explore by foot. That's one of the best ways to see a city. Um, it breaks my heart when I see people put their cameras away, order Ubers and whatever, and then choose an area in the map, and then they don't like it, and then they go somewhere else. Um, no, keep your camera in your hand, walk on your feet, and uh, you'll see things and hopefully capture good images. Hopefully. Okay, so we've ended up in like party central. Uh, not really the vibe we were looking for. <laughs> in the comments saying this is making me crave mango sticky rice and now you're finally having it. So good. <laughs> it's my favorite. This one's for you, Ickbo. this kind of happens sometimes you sort of lose momentum I think when you get a little bit sidetracked and a little bit lost with your streets and whatever um, you just slowly start to question you know are you in the right place are you taking the right images and other things and then before you know it 20 minutes half an hour's passed and you're not really found something in an hour and then two hours and uh, this happens and what I think I need to do better at or more of is actually share these journeys in these times where things don't quite go to plan or they don't quite work out because it does happen and I you know if I'm making a video at the same time quite often I just scrap the video I just finish it halfway and just you know move on to the next one but I need to do better to share that because I'm sure there are times when you're out taking images and maybe you're just not feeling it and you think why why is this why is this happening um, sometimes you can be in the right place at the wrong time or you can be at the complete wrong place wrong time everything's wrong <laughs> So I think as it was mentioned from the very start, um, we are very much looking forward to taking some street photography in Chinatown and some of the older parts of Bangkok. Uh, we will be transitioning there tomorrow by the time this video is out. We may not even be in Thailand anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting some images there. So if you want to see a successful vlog from Thailand, uh, then go and check out this one over here. Um, this one was a great vlog, very excitable. I loved all of the scenes and all the images we got. Very happy with that one. Uh, but otherwise, we'll catch you in another vlog real soon. See you later. Bye-bye.